uh, I'm pretty sure. I think that's Grape. All right. I believe that's Grape, yeah. All right, so Grape versus Yada. And Yada, yeah. of course, uh, old school Swedish uh, Smash player. Always played Cheek, Red Cheek. And uh, always have been like in the, I don't know, top 10 of Sweden? Yeah, pretty much. He's, uh, he's pretty, stayed pretty consistently up there, even when he's like been inactive and come back. He's always managed to get high places in tournaments. He like rarely gets upset or anything because of Rust. Yeah. So he's usually stayed really consistent. I think he also like actually plays net play, so he has managed to keep up that way as well. Yeah, when I've seen him though, uh, in the past couple of years, he's uh, definitely been speeding up. Like, uh, he always was like fundamentally very strong, like he's neutral and everything, but he, he seems to be moving faster than I remember him playing in the past, so yeah, I mean, it's a good sign. Play, people in general have been getting faster, I'd say. Like, mm -hmm. Even the old school people have, because like when I started, uh, a lot of old school people were also pretty fundamental uh, and weren't super fast, but now when I've been seeing them like 2017, 2018, everyone has sped up. Everyone's yeah. gotten faster and it's really nice to see. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. It's, uh, to keep survival up. of the fittest. Yeah, it's to keep up with all the new school people. Definitely, we see a nice uh, Nair out of shield there from uh, Yada to uh, take Grapes for a stock. Yeah. Speaking of keeping up with no new school people, I'm pretty sure Grape is fairly new. At least I haven't hadn't heard of him until like last year. Mm -hmm. I think he's pretty new and uh, we're already seeing him doing pretty damn well against Yada. Yeah, holding his own took the stock first. Good smash DI by Yada there to get out of the Fox shenanigans. Here. Yeah, he keeps putting the pressure on Yada and uh, Yada actually messing up his recovery there but doesn't pay any price for it. Yeah. Well, good SDI. He's had a pretty good SDI overall so far on the uppers. Yeah, it's really essential in this day and age because if if you don't do it, the foxes just get too many guaranteed follow-ups. So you have to make them work for it and you know take away some of the sharpness. Ooh, very nice angle. He didn't even get the bounce. He just landed. Yeah. Good, good, good conversion. Yeah, no smash down on that drill, unfortunately. Good idea, but he didn't get attacked fast enough from the way dash back. <laughs> Both players are just trying to poke and find an opening here. Great fans, the first one though, and this could be at the other. Yeah, it should be. No, messed oh. up his positioning there. Got a bit uh, late to the ledge and got hit by the poof. Every time that happens, it's not really, you know, the Sheik can do so much with the mix-ups and everything to make it difficult, but the advantage is 100% in the Fox's court, so it is a mess-up every single time the Sheik clips from that kind of situation. Yeah. Here, going for Venera since he's noticed that Yada's SDI is really on point. Here. It's a uh, penultimate stock from Yada here, and uh, I would be actually very surprised if, if Grape were to take this first game, and he's looking poised to do so. What region is uh, Grape from? Uh, I believe he's Gothenburg. Okay. Pretty sure. To ask around among the Gothenburg players then and get some data on, uh, on Grape here. Yeah. There you go, this is looking nice from Yada. Yeah, good shield drop there. That should, should be, be it, yeah. yeah. There's no angle that will save you there, Grape. But this is still a tricky position though, because Sheik is essentially a death percent. Yeah, it's going to be a bit hard to open a box at this percent. As yeah. Well. He needs to attack on a little bit more. Grape was a bit unfortunate there to hit uh, the Sheik with the weak side of the dash attack. Uh, which allowed the other's crouch cancel to actually work. Yeah, okay, think now now this is a game. Oh lord, yeah. the down smashes, the down smashes oh. have begun. Oh god, is this gonna be it? The yeah. back here? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Nice yeah. comeback by Yada. Yeah, that was really good. Oh my lord, he that down he barely down smashed the entire game. Yeah, and he finally pulls it out at the end, and Grape was not expecting it, so he didn't crouch cancel it at all. Yeah, and then he reached a percent where he couldn't anymore. That was yeah. really good by Yada. Yeah, it seemed like Yada had a read on Grape there. The Grape was getting a bit anxious to, to, to get the game over with. Yeah. And he really capitalized. And you could tell on the uh, final recovery there. Yada stood and shot like three grounded needles. He made it very obvious what option he was covering. And he still hit Grape with the third one. Because Grape went down to the ledge instead of going up. So yeah. you have to uh, be cognizant when a player is just you know going for a lazy option. And just spamming grounded needles. Just play around it. You know, just respect the fact that it's there. For sure. Alright, once again we're seeing a strong start from Grape. Yeah. And All that's uh, that's that difficult percent where you 
don't want to be DIing behind Fox because uh, the up throw will just uh, lead automatically to a second hit up air, so it means you can't smash DI. So mm -hmm. you're usually better off at like 90 ish percent to do a slight DI because at least then you have a chance to get the smash DI on the up air. Ooh, the SWAT. Mm hmm. The yeah, entire looks like assume he was gonna like short up the laser so he's holding down. Yeah, and he was going in with the laser too. Yeah. Which made him even more open. Sheik isn't that fast, so it's hard for Sheik to like really close the distance against the uh, laser camping fox, but if the fox is approaching with the lasers, it becomes that much easier. Ooh, but Sheik's here. He actually switched up the uh, tech timing where the grape missed it because of that pro. This is looking really good for Yelena. Mm hmm. You can tell that Grape really wants to get in now, too. Yeah. Opening here. Mm, a bit early with that down tilt, but it gets in on the second try. <laughs> the, the windmill! Platform. Yeah. The windmill always ruins edge guards. Yeah. That's all I think of like when I see the windmill come up. It's like, okay, someone's edge guard is going to get messed up. Yeah, waiting out the frames. Yeah. It's unfortunate by Grape, he missed his uh, dash back there. Yada trying to cover everything, but... Yeah. And this is still successful for Yada, because Yada's point there was just to get Grape up to like 40-ish percent before he lost his stock, and suddenly yeah. now he has a much stronger combo game. Yeah. Because now he doesn't have to worry as much about crouch cancel. Yeah. Because before then, you know, it's it's really rough. So if you can get the fox up to 40 before losing your stock, then you're in a really good position. You see it here. He only took 9% clearing up the rest of that stock. The hard work was already done. Just need to put the finishing touches on it. <laughs> These up tilts under platform. It shouldn't really work, but it seems like Grape isn't too familiar with how to answer them. Yeah. It's a bit tricky, like, knowing when to time your uh, your shield drop. Grape is starting to have a bit of a hold of the actual stage now, and tends to keep uh, control of the ground. So he's forcing Yada to come in, but now... It's looking bad. Ooh. Important shield. <laughs> yeah, grip. Now he, yeah. now he's just fishing. Now he's just fishing. Yeah. I don't like seeing this from the fox because you know it's a fox. It has so many better options than yeah. than just spamming up smash, and it becomes very predictable. And it's easy to shield grab. It's easy to punish. Yeah. But it still gets the stock. Let's see if he can uh, claw this back. Yada made a comeback in the first game. So it would only be fitting if uh, Grape is able to do the same, but he is not. He gets 2 0 and that's very unfortunate because that first game was all but his. So, But Yada moves on with the 2 0 here in round one pools. Yep. Good stuff to him, showing uh, the new school players where it's at. Yeah, keeping it stable. <laughs> yes. Let's see who we have approaching uh, the stream. I see Pipsqueak out here. I see Amsa. Do we have Pipsqueak and Fuzziness? 